What's going on, family? Swag here. Um, just wanted to come to you with a review. I've really been sitting back and, and thinking about uh, first impressions of companies. Um, I would say their marketing, uh, labeling, um, how they're on their websites, how they're on Instagram, how everybody's on YouTube, their, their websites that you can go to. And I love it. I love all of them. I think some are still working on it and some have found their niche. Uh, I'm, I was involved with a company, whom a, a gentleman who I love. Uh, I think he's a great man. I think what he does is, is, is absolutely phenomenal during the Christmas season of nonprofit taking photos with children, dressing up as Santa Claus, and that's, you know who I'm talking about, Bam. His friends call him Bam, and I consider him a friend. Uh, from Jolly Old Fat Man Beard Company. Uh, him and I were talking about, and he, he basically wants to know why I pass on his stuff. It, it's not really a passing of his stuff, I just had to sit back because the first, my first impressions of it, it was uh, a Christmassy time of year kind of sense, and I didn't think he had anything uh, past, you know, uh, peppermint sticks or eggnog or, and, and that's what I'm talking about. But as a reviewer, I delve into the websites and the products and the people, and the, I watch the other reviewers get on there and, and see their impressions of it. And it, it was wonderful to see um, a lot of the reviewers jump right on board and wear their Santa Claus hats and, and, and be jolly. That's, that's what Bam brought to the reviewing world is, is that I've seen, um, which is amazing. Uh, and he blew my mind. He sent me out some scent profiles, and I'm going to go over a few. I got a few of his uh, samplers. The Holiday Delight. Amazing. Complex fruit array, fruit and spices. Uh, I absolutely love this when I wore this at night. The Claus's Kitchen. Uh, and, and going back to what I say in the peppermint sticks and the cookies and the the Christmassy sense uh, of food. And I, I just don't really, it's not one of the niches that I like. I like the strong, stanky stuff. But if you never try it, your first impressions uh, mean a lot. So I'm thinking of all these treats and Christmas trees and ornaments, you know, it's it's a seasonal thing. It's not an all time of the year. And that's kind of why I passed on Jolly Old Fat Man. I thought during the Christmas season I could break this stuff out, but I mean, man, Claus's Kitchen, complex. Uh, I think there's nutmeg. Uh, and I'll go over the scent profiles because we got a little time to hang together. Another one, the Naughty List. You know, you figure that's, that. what would that smell like? Coal and... Oh, there's, there is a dark, sensual, musky stank to everything that I've smelled so far. And the biggest one that blew my mind was the nice list. This is such a great cologne, clean, fresh, strong, delicious, uh, amazing smell. Uh, and look at great labeling, great frosted bottles. Let me show you some oil here. You know, it's kind of a a cloudy, cloudy oil, but I don't care about that. That just means there may be some goodness in there. But man, you talk about a good cologne scent. Uh, after doing some research as a reviewer, I get involved with this and I find products that I want to get into and I don't want to just have the first impression that comes into my head. Uh, I don't ever judge anybody or it's not that I want a jolly old fat man to walk, walk off to the side. I just had to take me a little time so I could grow myself as a reviewer. 
of first impressions, the the labeling of other companies. I mean, you got skulls and cigars and uh, let me see what else. Let me get in here. You got, you know, men with beards, smoke behind them, real cool. Um, I got a, I got a lot more here. Revered. I mean, look at the labeling on these things. You got 1812, uh, Honest Apes. You got Wild Side, which is a beard with a motor on top, which is actually off his motorcycle. Beard Justice, you know what I mean? A hooded skull. I mean, you see, fresh beards, beard octane, just manly stuff, grown up stuff. And then you come to, you know, uh, and on his website, Jolly Old Fat Man, you, you're, you kind of get taken back. So that's why. That's why I basically passed over um, and grew. This has helped me grow as a reviewer and an influencer of people that watch these videos and the, the fragrances and the scents that I go over. And it, it's helped me out. So, bam, thank you very much. You tap into the scent profiles. You tap into, you get to know the owners and you reach out and you message people and you build these relationships and it's transparency and honesty and they put their themselves out there and I don't want to just give a willy-nilly kind of a, you know, here, this is what I gotten and gone and then I moved on. No, I, I build relationships with every single one of these scents and with every single one of these companies. I'm staying. I don't want to go anywhere. Uh, if I like it, I'm going to tell you. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you. Uh, but I'm not going to bash and rip somebody down because my scent profile um, or the way that I like my scent, strong and stanky, oud, musky, bourbony, tobacco-y kind of smells, and then somebody comes out with a, uh, a holiday delight or Claus's Kitchen. I mean, you can see where I'm talking about here, but until you really give it a try, you don't know what you're missing out. Every single company that I've tried, they have phenomenal, delicious, complex scents. Um, but they're trying to grab our attention. And the different bottles, I wish I could show you every one I've got. I'm sure you've got your own collection. You go look at them. They're all basically the same bottles with a little different color and a patch stick on them. Or a, a tag stuck on them. With their own passion and love that they put their time and sweat and blood into and uh, being away from their family. So here I am being transparent and honest and vulnerable with you about why I haven't talked about really jelly old fat man yet. I don't think he should change his name. I don't think he should do anything different from what he is. And he, he would tell you to hell with you. I ain't going to do it anyways, because this is who I am. But I wanted to give him a, a video uh, of why I basically had to sit back and not talk and jump on jump on it and wear a, a, a Christmas hat, a Santa Claus hat. I wanted to give you a different take on it. Um, so here I'm rambling about it, but I just wanted to explain myself to you because, bam, you, you deserve that. And you guys need to know that. Uh, just because it's uh, Halloween. I mean, don't look at Jolly Old Fat Man as like the scent profiles for the scent profiles when the pumpkins and stuff come out for Halloween. This jolly old fat man, he dresses up as Santa Claus, but he does this year round. And he's working right now on a lot of complex scents. Uh, working on one called Misfit Toys right now, which is going to be a oud. And he's put some out to people, and he's got some really good reviews on it, but it's not right for him. And I love that. So until he gets it right, until he puts it out, I'll get it. I'll get that uh, Misfit Toys because I love oud, and I want to try it out. So... Anyways, I want to go over some of these scent profiles now that I've babbled long enough, but I wanted to tell you the truth. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about his story. If my iPad will work here. He says, I've been a Santa during the Christmas season for the last five years, but always used to, or used a fake beard. In 2018, I decided to grow my beard out and become a real bearded Santa, RBS. My beard is naturally red, so it goes through a lot of treatment treatments to turn into that white, bright Santa, or that turn it that bright Santa white. The beard dyeing process can take a toll and causes damage to a beard. Absolutely, I'll bet you that's treacherous. 
Uh, I needed some something to help hydrate and bring my beard back to life. I needed something that was colorless or white that wouldn't stain my newly white beard. I needed something that wasn't greasy or heavy. All of these factors brought jolly old fat man to life. It says it all right there. And I'll tell you what, his bombs are some of the best that I have ever used for the hydration of my beard. Uh, the, what was it? Which one was it? No. Holiday. I, I wore that the first one, Holiday Delight, in my beard overnight. It was, it was just like using a butter. It was so delicious. So creamy. So hydrating. Um, and the scent profiles last all day long. Uh, do they smell like peppermints and candy canes and Christmas trees? No, they smell like a really delicious product that you put in your beard that brings delight to my senses and my nose. Um, let's go white beard bombs. He's got some bombs here. But you can see why when you read his webpage why you would think that. Uh, let me show you here. Elf. Pancakes or waffles and bacon and syrup. You've got sleigh ride. You've got Claus's kitchen. Jack, Jack Russell's. You've got holiday delight. I don't, 25 I don't know nothing about. Run Rudolph Run. Uh, may increase chances of getting on the naughty list. I mean, a really cool website. Uh, nice list. New arrival. There's a new one. Scrooge. He's got sample packs. Free shipping on everything over thirty dollars for a limited time only. But and you can see that it's it's kind of it's. I wouldn't say gimmicky, but it's definitely his niche. So. Don't pass over it just because you see jolly old fat man or you hear a lot of Christmassy sleigh riding Rudolph. Uh, they're delicious. Um, so let's go to price. For an oil, one ounce oil, $15.25. Now let's say the, I don't want them to, yeah, let's go over the ones I have here. Naughty list. I'm gonna read you some of the scent profiles for this. It smells like camping in the middle of the woods. Cedar and patchouli give it uh, musk with a campfire smell in the background. Strong scent that does not mellow. It's cedar wood, patchouli, tobacco, and clove. Phenomenal. <clears throat> let's go back. And then I want to go find the ones that I do have that I can speak of. I don't have that one. I don't have that one. Uh, Claus's Kitchen. Scent profile. Sugar cookie, peppermint, and oatmeal. It's delicious. I could eat that. I think that's his white label. You got his black label and his white label. Um, nice list. Let's get to that one. Because this one just rocked my head, man. The scent profile of this. Cedar. Leather. Tonka. Tonka bean. Lime. Basil. Pine, patchouli, and sandalwood. It's cologne. That's a cologne scent. Um, let's see what's in them. Clean natural spring, natural spring scent profile. When it labels anything but white, our oils leave your beard feeling strong and nourished. These oils are formulated to work in conjunction with our beard balm. So, anyways, that was the 1525 for those. We'll go back to, that's the one I wanted. Sorry guys, I'm going too fast here and trying to get through. Where am I at? I'm at 14 minutes, who cares? All right, Holiday Delight. And his bombs, 
two ounce are seventeen twenty-five. Uh, a white conditioning beard balm will leave your beard feeling great, light to a medium hold, which I agree with that. Um, let me see if I can read off the ingredients on his balms. Mango butter, shea butter, jojoba oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, apricot kernel oil. Let's see what's on his oils. If it has it on here, it may not be. Yep, metal foam seed oil, apricot kernel oil, sweet almond oil, hemp seed oil, shea, olein oil, BT, BTMS 50, but hemp seed oil. It's got hemp seed oil in it. And then what else do we have here? I already said Claus's Kitchen, Naughty List. Let's go back to some Naughty List here and tell you what these scent profiles, you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, sample size, nice list, Naughty List. I already said that one. Cedarwood, patchouli, tobacco, and clove. So I think I've went over everything that I have. I think I've explained myself well enough to you so you can understand uh, if you guys feel the same way of why you pass over jolly old fat man. Don't. Just because it has a Santa Claus theme to it. And you see all these reviewers out here with their Santa Claus hats on and Christmas trees, which is great. And I absolutely love that kind of review. It's amazing. Uh, don't sleep on this company. So would I recommend this company? 100% yes, tried and true. Misfit Toys I'm going to get. Run Rudolph Run I'm going to get. Uh, the Naughty List I'm going to get in the Oil and Bomb. That's all going to be coming. Um, and I'm gonna, just going to talk to Bam some more about Ascent Profiles. So, guys, excuse me. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep supporting each other. Um, I think I went over everything I needed to about uh, this review. I just needed to take a little bit of time and give this a little bit of love and grow myself as a reviewer slash influencer or whatever the heck I'm called. I'm just a guy that has a beard that loves all of his scent product, products. Got me a couple flags that I put up, Team USA. I thought I'd hang up all my Raider swag, my hats that I have. Um, working on my stuff as well, guys. So I love you. I'm proud of you. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. And I guess swag is out, guys. And there's your review of Jolly Old Fat Man. Uh, JOFMBeardCo.com is, I think. I've got it right here. Let's just see. JOFMBeard.com. You can follow him on Instagram at JOFMBeard. Uh, great company. Go check him out now. Reach, reach out to him on uh, Instagram. He'll message you right back if you have any questions. Anything I can do, let me know on the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the content in my uh, videos. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. If you, if you like this video and what it was about, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave me some comments and some love, guys. Cribs out.